in today's video i'm taking you to the biggest fetish market in the whole world this is voodoo market in akodasawa this place they practice fetish they practice voodoo and i was told there's about 56 voodoo priests in this market you'll find a lot of dead animals in these markets you'll find vultures you'll find lions pythons leopards and all sorts of dead animals if you're somebody who are not interested in dead animals or practicing over you uh, my apologies but this is for education purposes i hope you enjoyed this video while you're watching the video consider liking the video and sharing the video from akadesawa lume let's enjoy wow Wow, guys, look at this, so beautiful. Wow. They're driving around the airport. Uh, this is the Lume International Airport where Air France and all these big airlines uh, come to. Uh, it's amazing, like we've been here before, but we're so lucky to have the driver here. So guys, we're literally at the beginning of the fetish market. So this is going to be a little bit creepy, so I hope you enjoy the amazing content. So you see, don't see my name. My name is Dako. Dako. So that's the king. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So guys, uh, we're currently in uh, Akoresawa. Okay. So guys, uh, we're here. I want to show you guys this unique market. Uh, so the guide here is going to show me around. And I'll tell you guys how much you need to pay before you, uh, when you're here. And once you pay, the gentleman will take you around and explain everything to you. So let's go. Wow. Okay, welcome fetish market. Mm -hmm. And fetish market, it is only one in Ekowa State in Africa. So it's true, the market is making Togo, but all of the people who are walk this compound are from Benin. Mm -hmm. So we have a two type of explanation. The first one, which is consigned, mm, yeah. the animal dead, natural, and different. Yeah. But when we finish to go around, yeah. we will go inside where we can find some amulet and the talisman who was giving the name to this day fetish market okay yes so when we continue there is any question you can ask i will give you the reply no problem yeah so how long uh, the market's been open oh this uh, in 1863 1863 yes wow wow so so like if i want to buy something yes why we have this uh, this market yeah because you, you know in old days there is no modern hospital yeah it is a traditional hospital we have in this time okay the reason why when someone got sick you have to go and see the voodoo priest and then he will make the consultation after that the voodoo priest will prescribe different ingredients uh -huh. it can be animal leaves and different and then he will talk to the patient go in the market to buy reason why in British market the outside it is considered like a, the traditional pharmacy because you see some animal the leaves the herbs and different and all of them have a purpose each of them have their purpose that the voodoo priests have the knowledge before whether they will know how to use to get it satisfied wow an example me also you see in the in the front of you yeah I'm also a voodoo priest oh really yes that's why in British market we are all a voodoo priest so let's say if i'm sick and i need you to prescribe me 
something yes like if i want a successful yes business yes and i consult you yes you will make me successful yes wow that's why we make the consultation first oh wow guys so if you want a successful business it's a fetish price so for example let's say you want to grow your channel or you want to be a millionaire if you consult the fetish press they will come to the market and talk to the store they'll pick the stuff then they'll consult then the process go on yeah, right yeah, yes cool. wow so i can see some animal i think is that lion this one yeah it's not a lion it's a leopard leopard yes crocodile skin head of crocodile a small head of lion eh? and this is dog dog yes and uh, this one is lion wow i can see this one yes yeah you can see it you hold it to see can, can i touch it you can carry it yeah you can hold it <laughs> can you hold this for me please wow wow guys look this is a lion's head wow it's amazing Wow. This is this is snake, right? Yes, yeah, snake. Black mamba. So like what type of uh, medicine the black mamba does? An example. Yeah. You know the tattoo is African origin. Yeah. That's why and I want to give you one example for medicine. Yeah. We can use the teeth. The tooth. Yeah. Of the snake. Yeah, this snake. We will remove it to make in powder. To use the blade cut your body to put the powder we get from the, uh, the, the teeth of the teeth of, of snake in the pen so this one is to protect you against venom if any kind of animal bat you it's like an injunction that's why vaccination is is appear in africa before europe so Something. imagine like as i have my tattoo right now yes so if you consult and you do the medicine and you tattoo my skin i can walk in a forest yes yes it's like a vaccination i want to show one example on my body they are like a three skull see one oh yeah two, one two three. three yes so this one it is a medicine put it to protect me against evil and witchcraft that's why witchcraft is not a voodoo sometimes after we make the ingredient in powder and eh, it's a blade we use to cut in three times even when you see on my side here oh i can see yeah there's three here one two three yes it's a scarification that is the first vaccination so it's something like to inject inject the product into, into your, your body, body straight. so it's in your bloodstream yes straight wow yes. it's a scarification i'm very very impressed <laughs> okay wow i use as a pen yeah they just put in the ink to write on the paper Sometimes to make the tattoo. The first tattoo is in Africa, is to represent your ID card, like an identification. So our grandfather, they use some of things like that, just to write your name and your surname and where you're from. So an example, when you go around, something bad is happening to you. You can talk to people when they see on your app, they can contact your family. Because of the signature yes. on your skin. Yes. How much is uh, yeah. how much is that? <laughs> This one is a 1,000 for each. Okay. Yes. Oh, sorry. 1,000, 1,000, yeah. Uh, oh, this one is a big one. Yeah, big one. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Guys, can you see the size of this leopard? Here we have a different things. Yeah. An example. Most of people, when they see that, they are scared. Yeah, they are scared. And they say, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they call this a voodoo dog. But people don't understand the meaning of voodoo. Voodoo is not the one we think or we saw in Nollywood or Hollywood movie. Voodoo represents the four elements of this nature. Fire, water, the wind, and the air. That is the, the face of Vodou in Vodou tradition. It's clear? So in Vodou, there is a karma and reincarnation. There is no heaven and hell. Because all of the bad you will pose in this life will register into your blood. The reason why our soul is hiding in the blood. 
when you do something bad in Vodou, you will pay the consequence before you die. So you won't die and get consequences after death? No, no, no. So you, you face pay, it? Yeah, you face it on this earth. Before you die? Before you die. Wow, that's scary. And then you come, you come back as a reincarnation. It's clear? Wow. Yeah. In so Vodou, I've like seen that. something that when I was young, my families used to tell me, yes. when you're one of you play TV one. Yeah. Yes. So guys, so when I was young, so this used to have they used to have like twins. Yes. So can you explain to people the 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 a triple are? Okay. In Voru tradition, God represents male and female immediately. Mm -hmm. God not have a real face. The reason why we make the liberation and invocation in the name of our ancestors. It's clear? So an example, before they will, even they will make these statues, they will use specific 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 woods before to make it. Oh, so it's not just any ordinary wood? No. Oh. Vodou, you know, Vodou have a relationship with the nature. That's why I can tell you that Vodou it is the nature. Wow. Vodou represents the nature. So Simple guys, like that. So what he's saying is, in Vodou's culture, whatever they make, they have to consult the nature. Like for example, any wood they use, they have to consult. And uh, Vodou powers will say, use this wood yes. before they make the dolls. Yeah. That's very, very unique. Yeah. I'm learning so much today. <laughs> Thank you, so I'm learning so much. Wow. So, twins are very important. The reason why in some tribes. My, brother, my, my brothers are twins. Oh, my younger um, ones, yeah. Yes. In some tribes, when women born twins and all of them are die, she have to go in the market. <coughs> if an example, she gets she born one boy, one girl. This one represents the boy. You get the pennies. And this, this one, one have breast. So this is Achufi. Achu. Yes. The reason why even in Africa, twins have a specific name. Yes. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes Akoko and Akweli. Akweli. Yes. Kakra and Penny. Yes. 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 Wow. If it's a both of them is I die. Wow. Is that she will go and buy to go and see the Vodou priest right now? Now the the Vodou priest will activate it before it will become like this. Oh. To put the specific clothes. So all these clothes represent something. Yes. So she will carry. Eh? Their mother we carry on the she's ways to go everywhere. Yeah. And everywhere she goes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wow. Because you know in Vodou tradition, death yeah. not exist. Death not exists. It's only life that exists. Yes, because when you die in Vodou tradition, you we, are clean. Yes, you will you will you, you 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 will become a spirit. Wow. Yes. When you die in Vodou tradition, you will come so, you will become so your your soul will never exist you know, anymore. Yes. So you become a spirit. Yes. Your soul will become spirit. That's <laughs> why we will make the prayer in the name of our ancestors, not in Jesus. When you are African, you call Jesus. Jesus don't know anywhere. You have a genealogy. You are from family. You call your ancestors. And they will give you answer for what you need. That's why we have invocation and libation. You will pour the water into the calabash. You wake up in the morning time. And, and then first, you call the name of Almighty God. God is not a is not a person like we think. When you see in other religion, the thing say God is a person, is a man. No, God represents the nature. What we call God in Guru tradition is a something something who is bigger than everything. We don't have a real face of God. No. So when you call the Voodoo, you call him the, the nature. Yes, you call the spirit the nature. It's like a, you worship the nature. Voodoo represents the nature. Fire, water, the wind, and the earth. So, yes. as you're standing here, you can talk to them right now. Yes, why not? Wow. We can talk to them because every everyone, when we die after, we will become a spirit. Wow. Yes. When you want to do something, call your ancestors in morning time wow. and give them. If you, if it's a drink, sweet uh, soft drink, you can put you can pour down to them. Eh? Oh. You can pour down to them. And if it's even if it's a water, pour down and what you want from them. 
they will help you. So like you that's call libation. Need, yeah, we, that's why we need libation. Not to make prayer, to cry. Yeah, no, 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 no. So you pour libation. Yeah, to, just to pour libation is enough. Wow. Mix, birds, mm. head of baboon, eh? uh, cow, the skull of cow, vulture. Wow, this vulture, yeah? Yes, yeah, the vulture. Wow, vulture. But you know, we are not going to kill the animal because it's true that most of animals are from different countries, like in Benin, in Ghana. So after we buy the animal, we have the way to consult it. We will use the blade to cut the stomach of the animal to remove some intestine, something like that. After we, we remove the intestine, we will use antibiotic leaves to make in powder. So we will put in the stomach of the animal before we, we keep on dry on the sand. So we will say to those people, I need to use for medicine. So how did the animals get here? Did somebody kill them? Okay. Sometimes we get the animal alive one. Okay. In this fetish market. Okay. But that no means in some sacrifice is is, is, is it, we will kill them. Okay. Yes. Okay. I want to give you just one example. Yeah. If like one family, like a family live in Ghana, but he get a problems, spiritual problem, but they don't have the time to come to stay with the voodoo kid to see with their face uh, the real ritual. So often, I will put to the people that send me your name and the money I will use to prepare the medicine. After collect everything, I will go and buy the ingredients, make in powder, make one talisman, so I can buy a live pigeon. If it's a live pigeon or, pa or if it's a parrot or, or if it's a vulture or... Yeah, vulture. So, the, the talisman, I will tie it on the foot of the animal and leave it going. That means the animal will take the problem of the family to go in the forest like that. It is a, another part of sacrifice. Sometimes we can kill. So it took, we cannot kill. it took the problem? Yes. It's and like the live animal. The animal to throw away the problem of the family into the forest. That's why when you have a problem, go and consult the real voodoo priest. Someone can have the knowledge, can know how to miss him. An example. If someone have the knowledge, he get a headache. Like you get a headache, you go and see him. You tell him that, please, I have a headache. He will tell you, go and find this and that. Do it like this, put in a cup and drink. But the real voodoo priest, he will make the consultation with instrument to know if your sickness is spiritual or physical before he will begin to treat you. That is the difference in someone who have the knowledge and the real voodoo priest. So if it's a spiritual, then you don't need to drink anything. It will be... Yes. Wow. That's... That's, that's amazing. <laughs> so, how many voodoo priests are around here? We are like 56. We are like 56. Even the small, small people you see here, they will become a voodoo priest. That's why, before we know that someone will become a voodoo priest, you know, in Africa, when we have a new baby, his father have to go and make the consultation. Mm -hmm. The consultation things we use, Afa, will set the present, the past, and the future. The things who will ha happen in the future, Afa will say everything to you. So, if the person or this baby will become a voodoo priest after he gets five years, they will take this baby into the sacred forest and he will get the initiation by the genius. Sometimes he can make a loan. 25 years or 55 years. The reason why, when you, when you remember in old time, you cannot see most of Vodou priests can speak French or English because they pass their time to stay in the forest to know how to miss him or to get the knowledge from the genius. To so speak the language of the nature? Yes. Wow. This one is called of the cow. It's using the medicine for broken legs. Broken legs, okay. Yes. So like if footballers broke their legs, yes. they come here, they mix. Yeah, we, we use some, some of things. Like, eh? a, like oil. a oil to... Yes, to make messy. massage. This is a cobra, yeah? Or it, no, this is black mamba. Black, black mamba. Yeah. So these are the... Is it little body? souvenirs. Okay, these are souvenirs, yes. okay. This is souvenirs.
before we can cause something like a voodoo doll in voodoo community, is it in this moment the voodoo priest activate? Right now, like this, it is a simple decoration. So there's nothing, there's no power? No, anything on the inside. So no, before there will be a power, they have to yes. consult. We have to go and make and see the voodoo priest. He will invoke the power on that for specific work before we can call it voodoo doll for something. They wow. can bless him for luck. Wow. They can also bless him for your protection. Wow. So I can see a life. Is that a vulture? Yes. Wow, I've yeah. never seen one before. Wow. If someone wants to command, make command, you want to buy. So they will put the spirits? Yes. And let the no, vulture? You know, it depends. Sometimes it depends what the consultation are revealed to the voodoo priest. So it all depends on what the consultation is? Yes. If we need to use animal alive one, is that the voodoo priest we told you, go and buy for me? If it's a dead one, he will tell you go and buy the dead one. Because you know in Vodou tradition, we can't replace the ingredients. So the type of what constitution needed, and they'll say buy a live one but or buy a dead, dead one. one. Yes. Is it the consultation we decide everything? Everything. Yes. So we, without the consultation, we, we there won't be any anything. any anything. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So how long have you been practicing uh, um, me, your powers? I'm from, you know me, I'm, I'm from Benin. Okay, and you're from it, Benin. Yeah, we are all from Benin. I must told you before, in the beginning, that we are... We from, are indigenous of... Okay. Yes. But your family sometimes were here before, or they all from Benin. Yes. But some, some of them were born here, some like the, the young ones. Some of them are born here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like me, I was born here, but I passed... I, 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 I took many time in passing Benin to, be, to, to, be, to become yeah, a voodoo priest. priest. That's why I'm also a tour guide and voodoo priest. Because I heard that in Benin yes. is the power of... Oh, yes, more powerful than Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much yes. for educating me. <laughs> because I used to think different things okay. about voodoo. Okay. But I thought I always think uh, voodoo is like a bad spirit. But you educating me now, yes. I have a different mindset. So when people ask me about voodoo, at least I can have an understanding and educate people about what voodoo does. Yes. You know, there is something. In voodoo, there is a negative and positive side. But now, it depends the person who is to use it. When you want to use to do good, do it. Even when you want to use to do bad, do it. But you have to know that there is a karma. You will pay here because you will not go to heaven or hell. You do everything on this earth. It's here you will pay everything before you leave. So, if somebody, uh, if somebody uh, kills somebody, but in the wrong way, yes. So and the karma hit them. That means they will pay for it before they die. Yes, you will pay everything here. That's why you know in Africa, an example. Even if when someone dies, we will make the constitution to know if the if his death is a it's, natural, it's a natural or it's or... by someone. And before we bury this person, if it's caused by someone, we will put some of things and he will kill the person. So if it was a nasty death, you guys will consult consult yes. and find yes. and send a spirit and say go we, take care of that. Sometimes we will go and to call the soul of the person. That's why you know in Africa before, as a man, before you marry a woman. Go and call the spirit of the man because you know the name and the same name of, him, of her. After you go and call the soul of him 